Hey there folks, Josh here with Hardix Exotic Reptile Emporium. Today I'll be walking you through a more deluxe isopod habitat design, which will include an array of different mosses and a handcrafted limestone cave. This is a 7.5 by 11 by 5 and 3 quarter container store container given to me by my good friend Jared. After mixing up a good substrate base and making sure to put some sphagnum moss on the wet side, I'll get started on handcrafting the limestone cave. With a bit of super glue soaked cotton at the joints, it creates a strong bond. With some limestone dust and super glue at the same joints, I'll further strengthen the bond of this piece and create a more seamless look. Sprinkle in a good layer of leaves to give the isopods additional places to hide and so that they feel more secure, while also supplying them with one of their basis food sources. Now to fill it in, starting with the limestone cave, which I put on the wet side of the container. Add in a couple harvested moss-covered bark pieces. Then for the cork bark, I'll be using super glue to secure some moss directly to it. This setup has since gone on to its new home, and I'd like to take this time to thank those who support me doing what I do so I can continue doing it. I'm living an amazing version of my childhood dream, and that's not possible without all of you. If you'd like to show further support, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you think in the comments. Once this final piece of moss is attached to the cork bark, we can get back to finishing up the rest of the setup. To blend everything together, I'll add additional pieces of moss towards the wet side. I can't quite recall all the different species that I had harvested to add to this bin, but there's a good chance there's some broom moss, some pincushion, star moss, I see some bits of fairy teeth in there, and probably some hypnum and spiky moss also. Add in a few botanicals. This gives isopods additional places to hide and more food source. For this purpose, I went with some Adler cones and a Magnolia seed pot. Add in some temperate springtails to help keep the setup free of mold, mildew, and fungus. And then finally giving it a good hose down, concentrating on the wet side and this habitat is ready for an array of different isopod species. Secure the lid in place, and this deluxe isopod habitat is finished. I really like these clear bins that allow you to look in on your isopods from all angles without disturbing them. Additionally, I'd like to say while this habitat was designed with isopods in mind, it could be utilized for an array of different small inverts, small reptiles, and amphibians. Please be sure to be generous with that like and subscribe button. And until next time, folks, this is Josh here at Hardy's Exotic Reptile Emporium, capping off.